good morning good morning good morning i had to uh eat while i'm talking today i'm i'm kind of kind of limited on my time so i had some of you know i had a tire blowout last night yesterday the guy he didn't come until like at two in the morning i didn't get no sleep because i kept waking up trying to make sure i hear him knock or whatever he came about 145 or whatever it took him a minute to fix the tire because it had the mud flap all discombobulated between the tires so it was a hot mess so right now I'm trying to devour this food right quick it's a little sandwich and a little piece of turkey bacon so y'all gotta forgive me trying to wake up um ooh, i still look pale and i'm not even really light-skinned but my face ain't got no blood came to it because i'm still half asleep i haven't taken my um energy vitamins either i'm about to get that hold on I know I like to chit chat before I get to my quick topic. So, I take these energy vitamins and they work. They're really, really good. They really, really work. And when I forget to take them, I can tell by the way I feel. I feel like, not groggy, like. I'll be feeling more lazy and then I'll get tired quicker anyways while I'm chewing on this actress Megan Good I made a video about her relationship and I was saying how I'm seeing a lot of red flags on both sides so it's how it's kind of ironic that there was a video short of her. There's this guy named, um, oh, what is his name? Ely. His last name is Ely. What's his first name? Is it John Ely? Y'all know him? J I forgot to do. Hold on a second. There's this black guy. His last name is Ely. Y'all know who I'm talking about? She played in, um, How to Get a Man in 90 Days or something like that. When Megan Pay played actress and he was in the movie. He's light skinned, he got green eyes. I think he's half white, but he looks black. Um, There was a quick clip of her hugging him, right? But the thing is, when they hugged, he picked her up off her feet and squeezed her so endearing as if to say, you my baby. I mean, that was like a real, that was an intimate hug. You don't hug no everyday person like that, unless y'all got some history, and y'all been through some shit together, or y'all used to have sex. So, the funny thing about it is they caught Jonathan Mader right next to her, and the expression on his face. When I tell you I could read people's body language, I could read people's body language. I used to be with, I'm the daughter of a narcissistic and sociopathic mother, a psychopathic and narcissistic father. My father had narcissistic traits, but I don't believe he was a full-fledged narcissist. I, I believe he was beyond that. I think he was a psychopath. But my father also raised me. He had a lot of good traits, very wise man. And when you're raised under those type of strict weird parenting styles it makes you it's called hyper vigilant or super vigilant or super sensitive but it's not really sensitive you're just vigilant you're just real keen on shit now that doesn't mean i don't do the dumb shit i've been i've been you know how you just sometimes you just get tired of being so rigid that you do reckless stuff sometimes you might do a little you might make mistakes over the years so i've been in bad relationships i've made bad mistakes so I can see Megan Good's situation unfolding. So I don't want to be the Debbie Downer of bad news or the bitter Betty, as they call it, trying to explain what I see with Megan Good. 
falling out. I just checked outside. I did my pre-trip, so I'm just putting it in. But let me tell you, the video shows Ely, that's the dude's name, picking her up. Now, Ely, he's a little cutie now. He ain't my type, but he's cute. He's a nice looking man. I think he's a little bit too skinny, but if he gains some weight and put some muscle on, he gonna be whew, a heartthrob. But women like him. He's one of the highest, like up there in the sex symbols. Not at Denzel Washington's level, but he up there with the women that be like, woo child, he's sexy, right? So with that being known, everybody knows that about him already. He doesn't have to make a name for himself. He's already famous. So to have him pick up your girlfriend, Jonathan's face looked like his heart and soul left his body. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. Jonathan May just looked like his heart and soul left his body. They kept trying to like clean it up in the comments saying, no, he wasn't mad. He was just trying to be polite. No, I read his body language. And the way I knew he was mad was because as soon as she... Megan hugged that dude and he put, he put her back down and he went to go greet everybody else, Megan looked over at Jonathan because for a second, she forgot she was in a relationship. She forgot. And she looked over like, oh shit, I fucked up, right? Because he looked at her. She looked at him and he looked away. That's a that's a sign of pain. That's a sign of embarrassment and pain and shame and it hurt. So when she looked at him, he looked away. And he was looking away very awkwardly because he was trying to find a focal point on what to stare at. But it was so much going on, so it would have looked too obvious if he would have just looked away and stared one one direction. So he started looking away uncomfortably. You know how he do with his weird body language. He'd be looking around like, I don't fit in. But this type of looking away looked like he was like, a little upset and a little ups a uh, little like how dare you and then what happened next oh it was time for them to take the picture they was all supposed to gather around and take a quick picture for the paparazzi and she looked over at him and she saw that he was pretending he didn't know it was time to take a picture he's turning his whole body away from the picture so she's grabbing him like, come on, come on now. You know you know what time it is. And he's just like, you could tell he was pulling away a little bit. She's pulling him towards the picture. Like, come on, you know when you tell your children time to take a picture and they're like, I don't want to take a picture. There was a little quick little struggle. Some people probably didn't notice it, but he was trying to pull away like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. And she kept forcing him. I'm telling you, that's that Leo. Them Leos, they like that extravaganza, that look at me. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you gotta understand when it doesn't match another person's character. Y'all don't blend well. Y'all don't. I know they said opposites attract, but not in this scenario. She's bringing out things in his traits that he's not comfortable with. You gotta remember, he's an abused child. He don't wanna go through all that extra trying to prove himself. He already suffering from low self-esteem. You can see it all in his face. This whole character that he put on was broken by the powers that be. That persona of him being all that and this sexy dude. I mean, clearly he didn't feel that way if he was going crazy over some white lady that didn't even want him. You could tell she didn't want him by the way she was throwing him under the bus. So my thing is, now when his stuff got exposed and the real him had to come forward... The real him is a little boy still hurt, still depressed, still crying, crying out for attention in a way of love, right? Megan is in that healing process where she got over Devon and she's she's ready to be seen. She's ready to get back out there on the on, on the saddle and he ain't there yet. She keep forcing him and I'm telling you, that, that guy Ely, somebody sent him. Somebody sent him to embarrass Jonathan, I promise you, that was a setup. They're getting tired of Megan Good. They're getting tired of her talking about this Jonathan guy. Like he is the cat's meow. Because you gotta remember, that setup to humiliate it, to humiliate him was was uh the powers that be set him up to, to fall. Because you gotta remember, they're not gonna let you get but so much in so much glory and in, in, in status before you gotta pay the piper. So if he didn't sign up to pay nobody, you gotta 
you got to be willing to sacrifice something whether it's your family member your pride your, your you know whatever and if he was acting like he was just gonna go into there go into disney and just be a regular guy and go home to his wife and kids brother you better wake up and smell the coffee megan better wake up and smell the coffee stop bragging about your relationship because the powers that be is getting tired of her now she went on shannon sharp show i didn't see the whole thing but she was bragging about her life and bragging about jonathan they don't like that stuff because that's why they probably they're going to set it up where they're going to make them have to break up now she's forcing their hand to push their breakup because because after what she did with that guy hugging on him like that Jonathan's going to make that a strike against her now. So now he's going to act even more distant with her. And she's going to get tired of trying to pull him in. That emotional tug of war that they keep having with her trying to be extra nice to him. It's all an act. Because she's going to get tired of the crap. And she's going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to go cheat on you. I'm just going to go with this Ely guy. He's cute. Or I'm just going to go find me another guy. And it's going to be all over the tabloids that she's with somebody else. And Jonathan is going to have a fit. But Jonathan, you could tell he's already setting himself up mentally. Um, he's already checked out. I'm just going to keep it real with you. He's not even in the relationship mentally. He's there physically. He's trying to get there spiritually. But Megan lives a, lives a double life. She lives a life out there in the world of a sex symbol, a persona. And then she tries to come home and be the godly girl. And as the Bible say, you can't serve two masters. You got to pick one. You got to pick a lifestyle that actually is co co cohesive with your belief system. Um, it's a lot that I want to say about this particular case. But like I said, I have to follow it a little deeper. But I'm giving y'all for my quick observations of them two together. How I know the industry to be, the powers that be. And they're not happy with this whole situation. They're going to find one way or the other to break them up faster than them two breaking them up. Because it was initially just supposed to be a publicity stunt. Now Megan wants to go and fall in love and act like she want to have babies with this man. It's going to be a whole hot mess. Watch. Because as soon as you start making money for the industry and they feel like you're the it girl. You can't now go and compromise that because you want to live your best life. Same thing happened with Whitney Houston. She was doing really well, but then she kept um, trying to live her best life and actually be herself. They don't allow that, ma'am. They don't allow people to be themselves. When you start having a heart and really having a soul and really trying to be organic, they're going to end you. That's when that's when the, the party done. The party's over. We try to give you some time, but you didn't want to get the memo. You want to go on here and act like you and Jonathan going to be the new it couple? No, ma'am. Y'all going to be the it couple when they say y'all should be the it couple. The whole time when he was in court, it was working for them. Because it made it look like, here come the doting black woman here to save the the, the black man, right? But now y'all rising. People are actually respecting y'all relationship. Respecting Jonathan. So they're like, no. We ain't sign up for all this shit. We need you to be out there on that pole, Megan. We need you to be out there under somebody's legs, Megan. In somebody's bed, Megan. You can't be falling in love like you did with Devon. You better watch your ass, little girl. We're going to fix you. And that's what's happening. I bet you they sent that Ely guy to embarrass her. I mean, to embarrass Jonathan. So that Jonathan can get on her behind closed doors. Because they was hoping... He would try to do it in front on Front Street so they could put it all over the news. Jonathan curses Megan out and walks off. <laughs> so I'm just watching this all unfold and I'm just feeling like anyways, my clock is up. Had my little my little pre-breakfast and then I'm gonna have brunch after I drop this load off. Hopefully they got a load for me to get back to, to home time. So um, maybe I'll make a part two to this because I really didn't get my whole thoughts out because I'm thinking about heading out. 
Plus, I'm still tired. I'm still a little sleepy, so not really my best. You know what I'm saying? I'm just glad they fixed that truck. They're going to have to pay me. Oh, that's another thing. They're going to have to pay me. I think it's $100 for breakdown. And hopefully, I don't got to chase my dispatcher to get that. So now they owe me for four different loads on four different situations. Three for detention and this one breakdown. That sounds like about a $600 check right there in, in fees that they owe me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it was nice talking to y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I might, try, I might try to jump back on later, all right? Bye.